Hi everyone, this is Sharon. Today I thought I would take you along for a little craft with me while we work on my December design team project for Lydia at Raindrop Lila. It's that time of year for me to make and send out Christmas cards, so that's what we're going to be working on today. Well, here is a little prototype I made, and all the digitals that I'm using today um, come from her Starlight. It's a Christmas kit. It's called Starlight. Uh, it's a collection of different digitals. If you like stars and snowflakes and mostly neutrals, you really need to check out that collection because it's just gorgeous and um, I love all the images in there. So for my prototype, I made this one and it's got a couple of layers of paper on the top and I attached those to this handmade paper that I found on Amazon. It's called Lacta paper. And I attach those two sheets with some twine. At least it appears that way. They're actually glued down, but I also added the twine on the side. And then on the back, I just used a plain image that uh, we can use to write our message um, on the Christmas card before we send it out. I'm also going to make a coordinating envelope to put that in. So that's kind of our example. And then I already printed out some of the images that we'll be using in our example for today. So in that same starlight kit, I used, I'm using this one for this uh, lower layer, kind of the background. And then I'm using this one for the top and I'm going to stamp Noel on there, similar to what I did here. And then for the back side, I'm going to use this image. I think that's just beautiful and then I took one of her envelopes from that collection and I'm using that to put uh, my card in and what I did on the back side is just take one of the pages and fill the back with that so that when I cut this out um, that'll be the inside of my envelope so the first thing we're going to do is, I kind of pre-cut the back one already. I wanted to see how that was for size. And you'll see um, this one fit better to cover the size of my card. This one's a little short, so what I decided to do was I took a piece of metallic paper that I have and I just edge punched it with a punch. And I'm just going to kind of add that to the bottom here just to decorate it and uh, fill that in a little bit. Now, if you don't have metallic paper, you could use just plain paper or even a strip of lace along the bottom there um, if you wanted to decorate it like that in a similar way. So that one I've cut out. Um, now I just need to cut these two pieces. Oh, the other thing I want to mention is um, because I left these kind of loose on this side, uh, I thought if someone peekaboos on the back side, I want them to look pretty as well. So what I did was I put some um, images on the back side. Now these two come from, I think this one's from Raindrop Lila and this one's from Graphics Fairy. Not Raindrop Lila, uh, Ruby and Pearl XO. Um, I just picked something neutral here. I wanted to use a ledger sheet and here I wanted to use music. Um, so those will be on the back sides in case anyone decides to peek on the back side. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna cut these out. Okay, so I've got my main pieces cut, and I think what I'm going to do is just ink around the edges a bit. So, that one I've already got inked, but I'm going to grab an ink pad and ink these two pieces. And actually, before I do that, I know I want to go ahead and round the corners, these two edges here. I'm going to leave this one straight because that's my um, side that I'm kind of attaching, and I don't, I just prefer to do this side uh, curved and leave that one straight. So let me find my punch. Okay, so we're going to just give a little curve to these. Okay. 
Okay, and now we can finish our little edging on there. It just takes away that kind of white, fresh cut edge. Okay. So I'm going to work on my back side first. And what I'm going to do is take my strip of paper and I'm going to glue that to this piece first. Just using some art glitter glue for this. And let's attach that there. And I'll just cut that off. Okay, and now I'm going to stitch this to my base. I just think the stitching will just add a little bit of interest to that. So I'll do that and I'll be right back. Okay, I have my piece stitched down with my sewing machine and I don't know if you can see the stitching or not, but it's. I just wanted to do a neutral color just to add a, some subtle interest. So as we go back to the front, now you see there is stitching here, but that'll be covered up with these two panels for the front side. So now I'm going to take this top piece and I'm going to stamp my Noelle on there. I have this Noelle stamp. It came in, I believe it was a Tim Holtz Christmas stamp set. So I'm gonna take that and I am using this rhubarb stock for Momento. It's probably my favorite red color. <laughs> it's just a very basic red, but I think it's pretty. Okay, so we've got our Noel on there. Now I'm going to take this panel and glue it to the bottom panel. Just run a little bit along this edge. I'm going to center it on this bottom piece. And then my bottom piece I'm going to glue down also before I put my string on. Now this, this Lacta paper is handmade paper, so it's not exactly square. I don't mind that. It just gives it a very handmade look. Um, so I just want to kind of see where I want to place that. I think something like that. So again, we'll glue the back side of this. I'm gluing about the last half inch of this side down. Okay. So that really is kind of the base of our card. Um, pretty simple, but I think it's got a nice Christmas impact. And then the next step will be to put our tie on. So I've got a piece of hemp string that I pre-cut that I'll use for this one. And I've got an eighth inch paper punch. So I'm just going to come in and create two holes on this side. And I'm going to come about an inch down, maybe a little bit more than an inch down on this lower piece. And I'm not going to go in as far as this top piece and punch that. So I'm just going to stay within this bottom layer. So right there I've got one and then I'll try to do one on this side that's in about the same spot. Okay, and now I will just thread my twine underneath and then back up again. And then I'm going to tie a double knot so that stays in place before I try to tie my bow. So I'll get that bow in the middle and then put another knot in there and then we can tie our bow. Okay, and then cut my strings off. And there's our finished card. OK, 
Okay, I'm going to set that aside and now we can work on our envelope. So this I just need to basically cut out and glue together. So let's get her cut out. Okay, so I have my envelope cut out and now we just need to fold these flaps in. I like to use a metal ruler just to keep those lines kind of straight when I fold them. So I'm just going to put this along the edge and fold and then this side. the bottom and then the top flap okay and that is our envelope that's what the front looks like the back and now I am just going to take my art glitter glue once again and put some along these flap edges and then glue those down. I just wanna slide my ruler underneath there to make sure it's not glued down or seeping anywhere. And that is our envelope. So the only thing I've left to do is to put my mailing label on the front of that and then write our Christmas message on the back of the card and we will be set. So I hope you enjoyed that little craft with me today and got you inspired to make some Christmas cards of your own. I thank you for coming along with me today and until next time, bye bye. I am hopping on for one more step I forgot to mention. I also printed out these washi tapes from Lydia and I thought it would be fun to just put that on the flap in the back is kind of a way of making it look like it was taped down. So I'm going to quickly cut this out, ink it, and then just kind of show you what I was thinking for that. I'm going to take my tear ruler and just kind of tear these along the sides, give it that kind of torn washy look. Okay, so We've got that, and I want to just give it a little bit of an aged look, so we'll ink it up a little bit. I'm just going to take a glue stick and glue the back of this so it's down nice and tight on all the edges. I've got a really loopy glue stick here, <laughs> but I think it'll work. Okay, so I'm just going to put that down right there. I just think that adds a nice little touch on the back. All right, now I'm done for sure. Bye-bye. <laughs>